Hello Fly Babies, it's me, your Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to learn how to finally love yourself. Today is Friday, the end of the week, and what we're doing today is um, our three layer cake. Our first layer is our routines. Our routines are our morning routine, the children's morning routines, our laundry routine, our paper routine, our after dinner routine, our before bed routine. We're gonna be focusing on that before bed routine today. Uh, the second thing after our morning routines, our laundry and our paper routine if we're staying home, is to get right into the basic weekly plan. On Friday, that is car and purse day. So we're going to go clean our car out and we're going to empty our purse out and reorganize those things. Now remember, the key to keeping your car clean so you don't have to do this on Friday, you'll just do your purse, is your car key. When that key comes out, when you switch the ignition off, that's your reminder to look around no matter where you are, if you've just gone somewhere or you're coming home, and to remind everyone, all of your passengers, to get their stuff out of the car so that you don't have to clean your car on Fridays. The only thing you might want to do occasionally is have your car washed or vacuumed, and that's it. Okay, next we're going to um, go straight from the car and purse day into the, the third thing. We're in zone three, the bathroom. That's the main bathroom and one other room. Um, I've chosen my office. What room have you chosen? And it's the last day of the week. So just remember, it's only five to 10 minutes of doing a major cleaning thing in there. One, not a major rehaul of the whole room. One deep clean thing, that's it. Five to 10 minutes, wiping the baseboards, vacuuming the corners, uh, cleaning the, the blinds, whatever it is, just one thing and it'll be over before you know it. If you have clutter, then you're going to take 15 minutes to work on your clutter. Decluttering by giving your, putting your giveaway in a different container than your put away and your trash. So you're gonna separate into those three things. Throw away, put away, give away. And just make sure you identify them properly so when you're doing those little nanosecond decisions, it won't take long and you'll have them in the right box and won't have a mess at the end. And then when you're done with that, you're gonna complete your process by throwing away the trash, taking the giveaway to the trunk, and the put away gets put away in your home, okay? And then um, we're gonna have our dinner, and after dinner, we're gonna do the after dinner routine, which involves the family, and um, then the before bed routine. But before we get there, don't forget that during the day, you're going to do several things as part of your job, and that is you're going to do three clutter checks. That means you're looking for mindless um, messes. <laughs> is that what you're calling it? I don't know. But mindless clutter, and this means that people have put things down without realizing it. They've left a water bottle, they've left their flip-flops, whatever. And your job is to say, in a firm but kind way, to come pick those things up that you didn't realize you left. And I appreciate the fact that you don't realize. And if you find anything that I've done, please let me know right and that kind of thing so you're going to look after your own self and after the children you're also going to be inspecting what you expect if you have certain things that you expect as a behavior from your children maybe that is that they do their morning routine without assistance and they make their bed and you go in there and their bed's not made then inspecting what you expect is going to discover that that hasn't been done or picking up their toys now remember that they always have to have a reminder even almost till they're 18 depends on the child that you're gonna remind them, hey, it's before bed routine, guys, go pick up your stuff, right? And they know what that means. Okay, so if you're working, here's how it's gonna go for you. You're gonna get up into your morning routine, put your children through their routines, and you're gonna to go to work. During the day at work, you're gonna think about the things that are happening at home. Have you had to split up your basic weekly plan from Monday into Monday through th Saturday jobs, Saturday being your job of stripping your bed and washing your sheets? So if you have, then you've delegated, hopefully, to your kids who are big enough to stay home. And those kids are going to be doing one thing a day over the, six, uh, the five days you work. So today's the last one. So make sure you call and remind them, remind them before you leave, remind them that you're on your way home, and then when you get there, inspect what you expect. Okay, now, once you get home, you're gonna start your laundry. You're gonna go through an inch of your paper if you still have any, and then you're gonna start dinner, and once it's simmering, you're gonna handle your zone either 15 minutes of decluttering with a complete the process at the end, or five to 10 minutes of deep clean. Now, if you are keeping the clutter in check by doing your clutter checks uh, on yourself and your family, then that room will eventually be decluttered and won't re-clutter, and you'll be able to deep clean it, which is much easier than decluttering, okay? And then after dinner, we're all gonna do the after dinner routine, and then here we're all coming together for our before bed routine. 
today is date night so your buffet it's going to be before date night routine for you so i would suggest that you go ahead and take care of yourself first today so go ahead and if you take a shower at night that's fine if not freshen up uh, put on some pretty clothes and don't forget though when or if you're going out of course um, if you're staying in you can wear the same thing you have on if you look cute you should because you always get dressed and look cute right and um, just remember that it's a it's something you do with your husband without your children involved just even if it's sitting on the couch and watching a program together having time to talk without children listening and making comments it's very important um, and then don't forget after you've had your date night that you still need to wash your face brush your teeth brush your hair uh, put on your pajamas put your clothes away or hang them up to air um, look at your planner all that stuff so you might want to look at part of that before your date night like look at your planner figure out what's for dinner tomorrow put those things in the free out of the freezer into the refrigerator to thaw um, that kind of thing so that's it for today this is a sh an easy one friday is a fun day don't forget to um to put your kids through their routine and remember that kids go to bed uh, at the hour you say because you're in charge you're the ceo okay that's it for today always remember that you are beautiful and i'll see you tomorrow bye